What's going on guys, Victor here. I got my boy Adam from Moving Weight Fishing with me today. What's up guys? You guys have probably seen me on Victor's channel. He's actually got his own YouTube channel, I'll have that linked below. But Adam is gonna be the star of the show today because he called me this morning, he's like, hey man, have you ever done a sea snail catch and cook? And I'm like, I didn't even know we had these things in Florida, but hold that bucket up real quick. Show us what we got. We got a quarter bucket, half bucket full of sea snails. And I think they're gonna taste like calamari. About the size of, I don't, I don't know, like a gumball. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to catch them, which is honestly, your toddler could probably do this. I'm gonna show you how to clean them and we're gonna show you how to cook them. I am beyond excited. We're out here, it's a beautiful day. We're in Jupiter, Florida. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. You know, we're in Jupiter right now, but you could do this all up and down the state, and I'm pretty sure all up and down the eastern seaboard, like all the way to New England. Um, these are periwinkle sea snails, I believe. You guys can comment below It just sounds so verify. funny, periwinkle. I swear that's it a It does, Pokemon. doesn't it? I don't play video games, at least Pokemon, or if that was even a video game, don't smoke me in the comments. <laughs> that's gotta be a, a Pokemon. Or periwinkle? I, I'm pretty sure it's a plant too, but they're periwinkle sea snails. You guys comment below, verify that, but Anywhere you see rocks and tidal zones, which you guys are gonna be seeing us go up and down. All right, so I called Victor earlier and came up. I came to the uh, beach club and checked on them, make sure they're here. And it, it was dead low tide, but I think they like the tide a little bit higher because the water has to be crashing onto the rock. And there's definitely more once I came. First rock we looked at, as you can tell, they're literally just, just suctioning on right to the rock, just like that. And they're absolutely beautiful. Look at all the colors on them. This one's pink. Pink, black, green, gray, white, and some of them are even prettier than that, but they're loaded on all the rocks here, up and down the beach club. We're gonna be able to get as many as we want. I don't know how many we need, but look at this. Ones like that, we're not gonna keep the really small ones. Let me see, let me see. Look at how cool these two are, black and white. But we're not gonna keep the super small ones like that, but you just kinda scope around the rocks like this, and I never thought I'd say this, I'm looking for snails. I've actually used them as bait before though. They're really good bait. You just smash them over the rock and put them on the top. Oh, look at this one, dude. Bro. That thing is sick. I'm telling you, look at all the colors. Look at Hold that thing. For a sec. Look at the two different. Yeah, it's amazing. Every single one's a little bit different, isn't it? Right. And you guys can find Adam's channel link below, Moving Weight Fishing. I'll have it on the screen here, as well as in the description box below. I'm gonna kind of let him like take it away. You guys seem to like him on the channel, so he's gonna be your uh, Yo, no. he's gonna be your snail guy today. Yo, this one's like white. Oh, that one's cool looking. I mean, there's really not a lot to it. It's obviously not hard to do. They don't move. You just take them right off the rock, and and then let me show you actually right after you take them off the rock what they do. Let's see if Victor can get a close up on them. They. They'll close their little mouth or whatever it is. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. See that? Look at that. They still have it open a little bit. Look at that. Yeah, I think they like, oh dude, he's exposing wow. himself. Oh, just like that. And then you cannot open that up with your hand, fingernail, or anything. Look, it looks like he's got little teeth there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's so, crazy. I did a little research. They are omnivorous. They do eat both meat and algae. Really? I think that's that's why they like to sit on the rocks and obviously eat the algae. And maybe that's why when the tide gets higher, more algae gets on the rocks. Yeah. All right, so Adam and I are gonna see how many snails we can collect in five minutes. We got about a dozen right now. So not quite five minutes, but uh, look in our little bucket of snails right there. And it is kind of cool. There's so many different variations in terms of the uh, the shell color. They're all the same like size shell, but the colors, like look at this. It's 
guy's got like a little red pink tint to him. Very pretty. Oh, this one's out of his shell. No. Look, he's trying to come out. Look. Yo, what the Yo. heck? There's two of them trying to like Here, attack each it. other. Look, 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 look. He's what crawling. Heck? He's scooting. Here, he's hold. Scheming. Let me see. <laughs> Well, I don't know what they're called. His little eyeballs. There's uh, like whiskers. <laughs> eyes. I don't think that looks so sick. Stop moving your hand. Ooh, is, look at he him. He is fully exposed, dude. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one. Before. Not like that. Usually, get super scared. Right? I guarantee you, taste that calamari. It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So what me and Victor I've noticed here is there's a lot more snails on the wet rocks than there are the dry rocks. Because mm -hmm. I I think they store water. Because I've seen them like. When you take it off the rock, they like spit up water real quick. Yeah, and you got to think when the tide goes out and the tide's low, they're still on the rock. I think they suction cup themselves yep. and preserve all that moisture. Yep, for sure. They definitely take the water inside them. Look at this. It's called money rock. Look at all of them on one rock. They definitely like to wet the water. Definitely like to sit in the water. They sit in the crevice of the rocks too. And look oh. at the size of that snail, That's dude. a unit. That's the ones we're coming after. It's the King Periwinkle right there. Mm -hmm. Look at the pile. Look at, there's a pile right here, ready? Oh, put them in a bucket. Only those two. Look at this, how sick this one is. Oh, that's a giant too. That thing looks so pretty. I keep thinking, no way they can have any more different colors. It's a, not even the colors, look at the patterns, dude. Unreal. Smash that like button right now. Right. Nobody's doing sea snail catch and cooks yeah. on the tube. Nobody. Me and Victor out here really expanding the expanding the YouTube world. Ah, this was a unit. About one minute of snailing, as it were. Look how they're like suctioning to each other. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Let the snail race begin. Black one's going. Dude, oh. the black one's going. Oh, you missed it. Let's let's set up a little time lap time lapse for you guys because I don't think this is gonna do much. Alright, so what Victor's telling me to do is we're gonna strain them. Try and get all the salt air out of there. Am I doing all of them? Yeah. We should all be able to clean them. You know what? You're right, let's do half at a time. We've never done this, clearly. Yeah, but uh, we're trying it. Yeah, we're rinsing them to get all that salt water off them. And I'm sure they'll be salty just because I store salt in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And also be naturally salty. Sand, dirt, yeah. all the grit. Just like you would after you fillet a fish, rinse it off. Kind of clean, clean before you eat it. Even though salt water is super clean. Okay, so this is what we did. We got a we experimented a little bit before we started filming. We took out the biggest of the shells because we started cleaning them, and the small ones are not really worth it. So these are all still alive. We're just gonna bring them back to where we found them. Just like clams and oysters and mussels. They stay alive out of the water for a very long time. So we just have these boiling right here. Three minutes. We haven't really, you know, we've experimented with cook times two to five minutes and they still all seem to be coming out tender. So we're just gonna transfer them to a plate right here. Yeah, you don't really notice the difference in the shells after you cook them out. No. No, it's not like a, a crab or a lobster like right. Adam's saying. You don't really see them turn red or anything. You see a slight um, change in the meat right there at the base of the shell. It turns a little bit red, but that's about it. These are selects. Yeah. Select fleas. These are petites. Yeah. This is a moving weight video. It's, they're a petite. They are Palm Beach petites. Or Pompano petites. They're Palm, oh. Beach. They're Palm Beach elites. Ooh. Wow. Doesn't matter what you use, but it's gotta be long, it's gotta be pointy and relatively sharp, I guess. There's a name for this. I think it begins with an O. Um, when the snails are on the rock or whatever it may be, they're scooting around, and if a predator knocks them off or something, they have this hard part of the shell. You guys can hear it right there. 
they use that so that way nothing can suck the meat out. Because if a fish turns it over, they're soft on the inside. They can stick their mouth in there and get it. So what you do is you just flip this around and you should be able to pull it out. Sometimes this breaks off, mm -hmm. but this is where you really need that pin or something. Put it into the meat and just pull it out. And that right there, that's your yield. Your Ready? Ready? Good. It's very good. So, if I were to describe it, if you've ever had cl clams, oysters, mussels, it's definitely got that shellfishy taste. It is gritty. I mean, these are about as fresh as they come. They haven't really filtered any of the sand out. I'm sure if you maybe left them in a bucket, maybe some of that sand would come out overnight. But um, it's very tender. It's not chewy mm -hmm. like you would think at all. So what we're gonna do is, we got a big pile to go through. We're putting them on this plate and then we're gonna make two little recipes, but just like that in itself, delicious. That's like the flavor of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Just salty. Just salty. It's just like a salty, it's like a salty mini clam. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a little lemon, garlic, butter, parsley. And then Adam really wanted to try and fry them to do like little calamari bites, didn't you? Yeah, it's gonna be so good with red sauce, but we're also gonna rinse these off. I want it to at least in the, in the uh, strainer and it'll get all the sand off. So we, we're gonna do that after we get all of them yeah. probably. They don't need to be rinsed, but I think they're gonna be amazing if you don't get little sand bites in there. That's how you know it's fresh, so. All right guys, Victor perfected this batch. So it's super, these are super easy to clean. Honestly, there's a lot of meat for how a little snail is. You, this is the hard part Victor was talking about. You pop it back with the needle Stick it in right there and it pulls right out. Pulls it there for a sec. Look at that. Very okay. strange. It's not focusing. There we go. Very strange looking. Mm -hmm. But we've got a pile of them here. And look, look at this, ready? Boom. Takes a second to clean. Oops. That's it. Now we're gonna sit here and grind them out. All right guys, so what we didn't realize at first is the smaller ones are so hard to clean because, let me show you why. You can't, get in there buddy. You can't pull that little flap back enough to stick the needle in there and pull it out. But they're also live as you can tell, so we're gonna, more than half the, half the amount we got. We're gonna go dump them back at the inlet and they're all gonna live. But here's what we got from the big ones. It's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And it tastes delicious, so. All right, I think we strain it. Go think? for it. Yeah, strain it. Get rid of any of the uh, sand that's left over. And all that, like... Water. I don't know what it is. Uh, it, it's like ink, isn't it? It is like ink. You see all that black residue Jeez, coming out on, on the bottom? On my Here, finger. Hold. Yeah. We got half cornstarch, half flour, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And we're just gonna dredge our little snails in a nice little bath their final swim before the oil swim. And this is also gonna make your snails go a little bit longer, you know, because they're tiny. They look like little blueberries. <laughs> they do look like blueberries. And for anyone at home saying, you guys didn't eat them raw, we did eat them raw. We did. Multiple times. So we know what they actually taste like, because you can fry anything and it's gonna taste good. Guess what they taste like? Seafood? They do. It tastes like clams. Mm -hmm. Here go in our little snail bites. Yep. Nowhere in my life have I seen someone test to see if oil's hot enough, but Adam just goes. Yeah, I got a little water. bit of water. I got a little bit of water on my hands and and it sizzles. So you know it's hot. Oh, Whoa. that is not how you <laughs> test it, Adam. Is that for me? I'll tell you what, they don't look very good. Like in, no, in terms are. of, uh, I bet you they're gonna be hot. freaking hot. Yeah, really? Cause they just came out of oil. You know it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that is good. You're gonna like that one. You gotta try that one. Is yeah. it hot though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanna make some. Dude, it actually is mm. crispy. No, hold on, take a bite, oh. Adam. Take hold on, bite. hold on. It's not that hot at all. Up. It's not that hot. Wow. Yeah. Here. Okay, Mama Malusi's gotta try one on video. 
Wow. Gosh, guys. Where do they put on the spot? Look at right? me. I'm trying to pick the smallest one. No, the bigger one. The smallest better. blueberry. Okay. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. A little sandy. A little sandy. Is little it still sandy? sandy? I didn't mm -hmm. get sand. Get some sand. A little crunch. Good. So <laughs> that the first two I had were fine. That last one I could taste the ocean. But the first two, <laughs> they were great. Yeah, sometimes it's literally like clams. You'll get good ones and bad ones. And they're not bad, they're just Yeah. It's not like you know when you get a bad clam and you're like, ugh, and you don't want to swallow it. It's just Sandy. Some were sandy, some are, and I strained them to try to wash them out. But. So I haven't had an issue with the sandiness, but now I've had four. So three of them, uh, they were great, and there was one that, you know, tasted like the ocean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Try you one know what? Marinara. When you when you bite when you bite a, a bad clam or a bit, you get you a know. bad muscle, and it's got that like there's a sewerness to yeah. it. Yeah. And you, know, like, you can't finish eating it. It wasn't like that at all. Mm -mm. It just the. The first two were crisp. Um, the meat had that. I like it. It's kind of like uh, Florida lobster versus New England lobster. I like the texture of Florida lobster better. Yeah. So the texture of this I like. It's a little bit chewy, um, but they tasted very fresh. And maybe there was one in there that didn't taste as fresh. Right. The, the, the one that I just had was good. Dip in the marinara. You know what I like about this? Huh. If you... Hold on. That's just so good. It is. So, if you're someone at home who's like on the edge of liking clams and oysters and mussels, I think one reason people don't like them is because it's not... It, it's a lot to handle in one bite. This is a mini clam, a mini oyster, a mini mussel. It's kind of like a blend of everything. So it's very easy to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So it's not intimidating. It's not like you're eating a big clam. You're just eating a little bite, one little bite, and it's done. And it's so good. Yeah, we're good. It doesn't have the snottiness that yes. an oyster or a clam does, the snottiness, mm -hmm. which scares a lot of people. Like this, the slime, right? Yes, this is not slimy. No. And anyone can do this. There's literally snails everywhere in Florida. Go to anywhere where there's water, I'm sure there's snails. Salt water. I'm talking to the, what'd they call you? What did? Chef Shark. Chef Shark, the Chef Shark fan. So now we're just gonna do a real simple Italian style with some butter. You gotta do Italian style when you're in the Malusi house. Yeah, come on, a last name like that, Malusi, come yeah, on. Come on now. You think the saute's gonna be better? I think the fries gonna be the best. I'm gonna tell you I like the raw the most. Really? You're I just, lying. no, I'm You not. like salty things. I, just salty I just, guy. like when you're eating something like this, I I feel like a little kid experimenting. I like, I wanna really taste what it's about, you know? And I, right. I love raw clams and oysters. Like when we did the New England videos, Brooke and I, we were eating them straight out of the water. I don't think there's anything better than that. We're gonna just add some garlic. Yes, it's a lot, but you're in an Italian household, so there's no such thing as too much garlic, right? That's correct. The rest of our snails. <laughs> it's so funny that. to say that, right? Yeah. Snails, we're basically just heating them back through because they're already cooked, you know? And then we're just gonna finish it off with some fresh parsley. Snail cheddar. Snail, Snail cheddar. cheddar. Say that six times. Yeah. Okay. Take your piece of bread. Actually, I think that's what the spoon is for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Get your snail, garlic. Just like that. A little bit more, actually. What do we got? Snail, garlic, parsley, cheese. Blueberries, <laughs> red red pepper flakes. It's wow. so good. Mmm, very good. It's interesting. Mm. It is interesting. Yeah. Who do you know who's eating snail sandwich. on top of their <laughs> snail sandwiches at home? No one. No one. No one. That's why you, you ready for this? To Victor. And to Ab for moving weight. You're gonna freak out. Wow. You know what I think of when I think of this, or when I eat this? Mm. A restaurant one day with all the crazy things we've made on the channel. Snails on bread, iguana wings, Yames is the head executive chef. I just have all these ideas in my head and just doing all these catch and cooks have been so eye-opening. You know, yesterday Brooke and I had bonnet head for dinner. Um, 
dated before catfish, make a restaurant exclusively for all the lesser known fish, the trash fish, the snails of the sea, which I think would be awesome. Thank you to Adam's parents for letting us uh, destroy their kitchen. <laughs> Get it dirty. I'm gonna clean it up. Adam's gonna clean it up. Um, if you guys haven't already, check out Adam's channel, linked in the description box below. Moving weight fishing. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch all you guys in the next one.